go. All right. Yeah, that was definitely uh, a, a pretty intense, I'd say, uh, trailer for sure. I like a lot of it. There's only one thing I don't like on the trailer, and that's the voice. Uh, the voice when they're doing the I am Candyman. Oh, okay. Because it okay, sounds okay. like me going, I am Candyman. As opposed to a I'm professional. Gonna admit, this was me when we got the new Candyman oh, and trailer. Then, uh, yeah, you gotta love it when... Damn you, YouTube, and your autoplay function. It just played <laughs> randomly for a second there. Anyway, it, you know, ignore that in the background. We're trying out a new format this week for yeah, video see how, casting. Yeah. See how this works, huh? I think it'll be nice because it'll, for two reasons. One, uh, ease, easier for us, for sure. I mean, which is nice. Definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, I just checked it out now. Audio sounds pretty good. Great. Yeah, so this is uh, something new. First time went pretty good yeah, <laughs> so uh, far. You know, sometimes simpler is better. Or maybe more... Who knows? So you got to try new things from time to time. Yeah. The other thing is I think having the delay on the uh, call will help. Because then we'll talk over each other less. It'll be a little yeah. more clear. That should be good. Um, well, um... So, you know, I, I, I love that Candyman trailer. I think, you know, I love the vibe. I love that it's still keeping to that kind of, uh, from what I can remember, because I actually was going to, I was I'm supposed gonna go to watch it again. I'm going to watch it again, yeah. I got yeah, that's the not original. Real. But uh, I think it does have a lot of the vibes of the original. I feel like a lot of the people even look similar. Like, the main character is very reminiscent. Um, and not just, obviously, that they're both African-American, but just even like the the feel of gruffness you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah um there's a lot of cool things i think they may have given a little too much away with the you know uh you know i think i you know brought him back i am candy man you know kind of yeah thing. that's kind of um, how i got with the film was that they were yeah he's he's not yeah it's weird because it is obviously still a supernatural thing it's not just like the recent play on michael myers where it's like like Michael Myers was just a really crazy, strong psycho or whatever, and he mm. and then they did change it back anyway. At, but regardless, uh, I want to say that it's really good stylistically and thematically as far as horror goes. There's a lot of like good things that people forget you need in horror, so you mm -hmm. you don't need tons of blood and gore right no like, it's cool sometimes but the hint of blood and gore right the the blood on the floor outside of the toilet stall the blood on the as you open the door and can see the body like the hinting the mm -hmm. little pieces i think do a lot more for that kind of stuff at least for me maybe not in general but i think those are the really more important parts of that horror aspect well, yeah, it, um, you know, I am excited. Yeah, exactly what you mean. Yeah, I did get that kind of more scary, I guess, eerie vibe from it, like you said, from those scenes with the blood just barely being shown. And yeah, the scene at the very end when the, the little boy comes in and opens the bathroom door. Yeah, that's my favorite, just him yeah, barely opening hook, up. The hook barely peeking through mm -hmm. the shadow curtain. Yeah, that's is, cool. It's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of good, like, I will say without a doubt, because I think directors are responsible for this, I might be wrong. Maybe that's the person in charge of photography, etc. But uh, the shot placing looks excellent in all of his films. Like he's really good at picking where the film should be shot from. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? How it should be framed up. Uh, and I think it's a big part of horror is where it comes from, like the angles. You know, a scream doesn't look, or you know, a, a bursting in scene looks better straight on, or mm -hmm. you know, things like that. And the, they seem to be sticking to the kind of old school, you know, which I love that it's like old school Candyman, which Candyman was really just a creative, like, twist on uh, Bloody Mary. Yeah, you know, um, I was reading up on it a little bit. The, the creation comes from uh, Clive Barker, of course. Of course. <laughs> um, and it, it's uh, his first appearance, actually, is in a comic book. Um, I was reading up on like, you guys can look it up but I think Bloody Disgusting was the one that uh, posted it one of the two Bleeding Cool or Bloody Disgusting uh, posted it up one of their uh, guys actually bought the first supposedly parent of Candyman and 
uh, he shows the picture, and it's kind of like, yeah, this really eerie de depiction of this uh, shadowy thing with um, just like a lot of lines coming out of it and everything. Yeah, so it's uh, it's kind of crazy that I did not know that's where it came from originally, but like you right, said, it is kind of like a take out. on Bloody Mary. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a take on Bloody Mary. I did not know that it was a comic book origin, which is cool. I mean, that's definitely in our realm of stuff. Yeah. So it's always great for us to get some stuff like that. Uh-huh. Um, Sorry, I'm also just going through and trying to make sure I can see the chat. There we got a couple people coming in. My brother, Peter, thanks for coming in, guys, and talking. But, yeah, Candyman looks like it's going to be dope. I love scary movies. Uh, you know, uh, the the recent It's have been fire, and all the yeah. good scary the, movies recently have been recaptured. And I just really. seen Invisible Man, and I'll tell you, that was really good. Oh, was my gosh. Is horror, or is that one a thriller? Um... I feel it's like, like it's a, a very distinct um, line. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a thriller, but not too much really. It, it there is a lot of um, horror, which is horror aspects to it. Yeah, I, I I could get that. I honestly always feel like the Invisible Man is best as a comedy joke character, but I you know I can see it definitely being usable in that horror aspect of yeah. like just. I mean, they did a they did a wonderful job. I think. I mean, I think it, it's... that they need to do the billing better though, because I had no idea it was a horror movie. Until yeah, you said that. it's um. I don't know. That trailer just it's more. Of, I don't know how to explain. It. I like I said, it's very vague. It yeah. Kind of mysterious. Um, but it, it was it was good. They, the the main the main actor did a wonderful performance. I thought she did wonderful. The thing what I liked about it was that that was kind of scary is that they were trying to make her. She was trying to, the guy was trying to make her sound crazy in the end, basically, is that, you know, she kept saying there's this guy that kept following her. It's her boyfriend, basically, and her boyfriend is a very uh, controlling of her and everything she does. Um, so in the very beginning of the movie, she's even trying to sneak out of the house um, without him noticing and everything. And um, it's just really suspenseful. And so she, her sister finally picks her up in the forest, not on the other end of the forest, because that she's like, she's in the middle of like, oh, my gosh, like nowhere almost and yeah she goes through a forest just to get to the road <laughs> and uh the guy uh, her sister finally picks her up and she's just like questioning her like what's going on you know like what's why it's why are you so like going crazy right now and she's like just go just go and you can see the boyfriend just running really crazy and he's just like what are you doing don't leave me and then boom punches right through the the glass and so there's a lot of like you know she's like even like when she's uh gets to the house where she's supposedly supposed to be safe at actual cop's house um, even trying to get outside the house, she's very like, just scared to get out the house because she just feels like if she's going out there, like he's gonna be out there watching her or doing something. And then eventually, uh, she gets news that he is supposedly killed himself, and so she questions it because she's like, he's not the type of person to do that. And another thing to to about him is, I guess he was a the one of the top tech optic engineers in the world. Hmm. So it, so yeah, that that kind of is like you know they. Like I said, they do a good job of modernizing the Invisible Man, and um, I think it was a good take of kind of going this. Um, I, like I said, it is kind of like horror, but it's in another, I guess, subgenre. Sub -genre. Have you ever it watched that movie, like, Hush? It sounds or, like suspense. Yeah, kind of like suspense. There was a lot of suspense. It's, it's rough. To, there's a rough line. So, like, suspense is like. Hmm, I'm going to have to look up some examples because I know. That like, cause horror is a very like, so like, actually, it kind, uh, and it kind of had some drama to it's it. It's funny I'll, I'll let Get them, Out yeah. is absolutely a horror movie, but it's also a suspense movie. Yeah, yeah, so it is. is suspense yeah. horror, but uh, Shutter Island is a suspense movie. Yeah, if you remember that one, uh, with Leonardo. It's kind of a horror movie, also, or but more of a suspense movie. Uh, Butterfly Effect. Yeah, where it's that... like there's no there's no evil or like massacring or like I'm not no. even sure what exactly like constitutes a horror movie. We probably should look that up. But like suspense has r real life stakes. I feel like sometimes, or if mm. not real life stakes, just like not stakes of like I don't know a dark or evil intent. It's mm -hmm. just like people. I don't know. That's rough too. Yeah, it's really I mean. Hard. It's 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 a, it was a good modernizing of uh, like I said, Invisible Man, and kind of like they did a good job of like just kind of playing on people's fears of being watched. I guess I think what that it was. would be cool as well. And I wonder, and I was gonna wonder, especially if you were talking about modernizing it, it just made me think of tech, 
as an invisible man as opposed to the classic take of the invisible man being like yeah. science because you think about it now you could have both figuratively and literally in many ways an invisible man someone who was invisible to like cameras and detection and mm -hmm. society but also you know they, they do have you know camouflage suits uh they're not quite to the level that you know you're just wearing a level of invisible skin yet. <laughs> yes <laughs> yet but uh but, uh, yeah, I recommend go see it. It was, it was good. Yeah. It's not I mean, waiting it, for it to come on DVD. It definitely <laughs> would be horror still then. Because horror... All right, so the best... And I'm, I shouldn't use this because it's a Wikipedia definition. But, you know, Wikipedia does pretty good on general information, I feel like. But horror is a genre of speculative fiction, which is intended to frighten, scare, disgust, or startle its reader by inducing feelings of horror and terror. Yeah. So I feel That's, like it's definitely, it might be just like a combo, a horror suspense, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, yeah. I, I think the difference for me for horror and suspense is horror, more shit actually happens. Mm. Okay, I, suspense, I see. suspense, you're like at the edge a lot more, you know what I mean? It's like there's always something about to oh, happen. Oh, yeah. And shit does happen eventually, you know what I mean? You do get moments of like, bam, but it's more about the lead up to this, to mm -hmm. that moment than it is like with horror which for me is like horror is about like the reveal of the monster you know what i mean like mm -hmm. it, it's about the lead up there too and the suspense and build up to that reveal but it's about that reveal of like here's you know a the alien here's the alien with its tiny mouth sticking out into your face <laughs> you know what i mean and yeah. like barely missing you rah, 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 just it's very rough though because i feel like a lot of the much like music genres are very like crossed and intertwined so there's no mm -hmm. like hard horror genre or hard genre at all like they talk about all comedies have a little tragedy and all tragedies have a little comedy yeah that kind of thing like you mm -hmm. gotta have more than just a horror movie it's a horror suspense movie or a horror action movie or a horror mystery novel slash you know science fiction novel or you're, you know, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide and you're just going to be everything at once. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it was a good movie. Good good start to a good, uh, good year for films. <laughs> I, yeah, you know, they really are starting to come. Well, I'm. I, it's funny because I was going through the list. And I'm like, man, I don't really know what I'm exactly excited for this year. But there's there were tons. Mm -hmm. And there was something that popped up and I couldn't help thinking about it before this cast and not place it again uh oh you know what did come out that i want to talk about though what? uh i don't know i think you posted it actually on our page but they did the crunch you so you would know the oh yeah the, the, the tower the tower of god yes i have been preaching about the <laughs> manga and manga for years literally i have sent lists of suggestions of these because there's tons of them there are tons of goods but like one of the best parts of that release of the video is seeing all the anime groups and stuff I'm in and seeing that it is not, like, just me. Mm -hmm. There's tons like, of people that oh, like, yeah, love that, it. And, and recognize what it is. Like, the people who post about it, they're not like, oh, this is going to be cool, or this looks interesting. They're like, your favorite anime is about to get smoked. Oh. And they're not wrong. Those fucking... If the production is good, those stories are on par with your favorite ever anime. Mm -hmm. At least in my opinion, and obviously the thing, but... With exceptions of like yeah. very specific cult classics like Cowboy Bebop, or there's very few things mm -hmm. that I put on a very like nine slash ten out of ten for anime. Cowboy Bebop is one of the very few examples. It's got good voice acting, good translation, good story, good animation, good music. Yeah, they're they're really gonna have to pull it off for sure on this because yeah. this is gonna be their first time like really introducing like you know Korean and, anime and oh, and the cool thing is they are using Japanese animation house though. That's good. Every, That's every good. Season. I mean, so we were I was, doing our research. I was curious who they were gonna do they, right because they actually have released. Uh, me and my friend are really into those series, so we looked it up and uh... all right, which one is it now? I gotta. Uh... It was the one, I can remember one of the studios is the studio that does D. Gray Man and all those ones. Uh, and so they're not the best studio for D. Gray Man. 
and that would be I do remember watching that, TMS but I don't know who did that. Entertainment, which is hey. then licensed by Funimation. Okay. Uh, but TM TMS Entertainment would do what I would call a, cla a classic animation style. Mm -hmm. So they've actually they made Akira. Uh, they do the Detective Conan and the Loop in the third films. If you've ever seen that style, I've seen the I've seen the movies before, but I've never they actually also watched did it. Sonic X. Ooh, okay. Do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah, I did watch so that one. They did that. That is their style. I would okay. say is that kind of old school Japanese yeah. flat. Now they've gotten and updated it a little bit, so it's a little nicer now. So like, just to give an example for you, like uh, maybe I can put this into the comment section or something, so that everyone can see it. <laughs> I think that's something we can start doing too. More is now that we're doing online stuff, as opposed, well maybe not all the time, but when we do do online stuff, we can show pictures and stuff because we're not yeah. just sitting on the couch. You know what I mean? We're actually at a screen. Um, maybe not. That's not letting me paste that picture. Copy image. No. Hmm. So copy image address then. Thank you very much. Google. Yeah, I, I tagged my friend in it because I knew he would be very excited for it. <laughs> it's, like I said, those, and don't get me wrong, they're not, it's not that they're better, but they just have top quality things and they are they lack the tropes that we've become accustomed to from Japanese culture. They have their oh, yeah. own tropes. Yeah, they so have their own tropes. Their that's own tropes. that's for sure. But... Um, but they're just different, so they're new. The mm -hmm. other thing is, like I said, these ones, Tower of God, Noblesse is another one. I don't know if you've heard of that one, but Noblesse is actually very good. Maybe not an art style or... Uh, not execution, but like overall plot, as opposed to display of power slash building of characters and world so like i think those are good and then uh the cooler part that most people won't know and probably won't know unless they ask somebody or have read the comics and are familiar with the artists who make the ma the mawa and their twitters but tower of god and god of high school share the same universe okay they never interact but they sh they have confirmed several times both the artists and in hmm game by referencing different stuff that they share the same universe well that's kind of different because uh usually japanese animate you know when they do their stuff it's, it's just their own separate thing and they never really times yeah the only ones i can think of off the top of my head who have crossed over really and i don't remember if these i don't think these guys actually did uh was like i think case closed and lupin might have done a crossover and i know hmm. dragon ball z one piece and Toriko. oh uh, i did remember they did do that i remember that a while back i remember they you announced know, they're, that they're kind of standardish map but the, yeah. the three-way crossover is fire but this sounds like more of like that it's not even really a cross it sounds no, like you're saying like they're they're in, they're in the same in, world yes. they're kind of taking but from the west a little bit you know with bit, marvel and dc i will say it would be a little different than marvel and dc though it, it is similar, but different in that it's that multiverse concept, I believe. Yeah. But to be fair, both of those series, before they had established that, had established that they were multiversal concepts. Like, mm. they're huge worlds in and of themselves, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, And they, like I said, they got their own mythos. Like, Tower of God is probably my favorite as opposed to God of High School. God no. of High School is more about fun fighting and character development. Okay as well as uh lore as opposed there's like lore and then there's world development and they're very similar mm. but different so in that trailer that i showed or that you've seen what else oh. what was what else was coming out uh, just Noblesse, the tower of god okay tower of god uh one sec crunchy roll new korean and well there's only one or two of those that i haven't read and i was gonna go read them after this uh <laughs> it is no, I don't... What the hell? Yes, this is... Produced an animated series based on a catalog of content. Yes, I want to... No. Oh, God, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes screen rant. Well, we could probably... I know, we can look for that link on our thing, but... Let's see. Um... Look up Crunchyroll original anime. Yeah, that's what I was gonna just say. First slate of Crunchyroll originals, yes. And they did a uh, Noblesse, I've read. 
Onyx Equinox, God of High School, Freak Angels. They actually had more than I thought. So there are three that I haven't read. I haven't <laughs> read. Uh, I haven't read High Guardian Spice because it's a kind of gir- girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, more Madoka. towards the the girls' yeah. side. Uh, yeah, it, it's a okay. it's a girl princess one, which are there, those can be fun. It's just not yeah, necessarily but my it's one. more you know um, to another gender audience. So I haven't read Medjai Gekin Sword and Gun, which I actually wanted to, but it just wasn't. Some of these weren't as far along, which is why I haven't. The ones that I did read were the ones that were really far along, and then Inspector I didn't read because it's supernatural romance, Ooh, but it's okay. actually supposed to be really good. I just huh. didn't read it. Because it wasn't as far. Once again, it wasn't, if I remember correctly. I'm ju- double checking on some of these. Uh, <laughs> Inspector is at. Volume. Chapter. T- 20 or 30. Oh. Huh. Yeah. So pretty far along. That yeah, well. is really not when you think about the fact that uh, that's like it is and isn't. That's the entirety of Akamaga Kiru's. No, 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 no. Akame Got Kill had 150 chapters in its manga run. So, relatively speaking. Hmm. Uh, another example is uh, Dragon Ball Z. Granted, that's a lot longer, obviously, etc. Yeah. But, but it was done in without as much filler, and that still has 300 chapters of manga. Like, so when they do an episode of anime, it's usually roughly two or three chapters books. of manga minimum. Okay. Well, because it's chapters, not volumes. So the volumes are like the books you would pick up at the store. Oh, okay, okay. I see what so you mean. So there are oh, three yeah. or okay. four chapters in a volume. So they only Ooh. have nine volumes out something like that and each of okay. those only have three okay. chapters i see so they're All just right. like being, those ones aren't as far along whereas uh god of high school and tower of god are all both at least chapter two or three hundred. Oh wow because they okay. both w- release weekly and they don't stop and they're full color it's so good noblesse 2 is also about chapter two yeah or i wonder you know i'm curious if um that will change some of the way japanese you know w- work goes you know because i mean if they see that the koreans are do- doing more work by I, just doing the color and they're they, able to push I mean, out they i don't do know when they are but they're independent they're yeah using new equipment and styles like when you look at the way the korean stuff is drawn some of it is absolutely amazing and stunning and then a lot of it, like I mean, color work, adds a lot. It does. It, it does. really does. It really does. But the line work is not as in depth because of that, because they're doing the full scale. Yeah. Um, they also uh, don't always put out as many pages per chapter. Mm. So, like, we're used to getting roughly fifteen to maybe thirty pages per, you know, chapter of a manga. Mm-hmm. Uh, they could have as few as nine pages. Oh, for a wow. Chapter. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's really short crazy. then. Yeah, it is for some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. So like, look, uh, so the one I'm reading right now that I've been telling people to read, that they absolutely should read, and you should read if you get a chance. <laughs> um, I know it's tough with all the stuff we read. Yeah. Uh, Red Storm is where I started, and it's it's an amazing manga. I think, I'm not sure if it's a manga or a manga. It's, it's a manga because it's from South Korean webtoon writer Non okay. Kyung Chan and drawn by Park Kyung Il. Uh, but it is an amazing kind of cultural take. Uh, it's very classic shonen if I had to give it. It has hmm. some of the Korean There's... tropes and some of the Japanese tropes okay. mixed in. But what's amazing about it is it talks, it's uh, in depth understanding of politics. And its ability to convey that in a simple manner. So, like, but not, like, just, like, you know, politics here, but, like, politics of, like, fighting, you know, there's, they do... It's very interesting. It has the fighting aspect mixed with the politics of running a country. And it's very interesting to see. Uh, and then just good, decent art, good story structure and world building. Cool part is there's another Korean mangla called peerless dad personal peerless martial arts dad <laughs> yeah 
that's, that's, I like those long, crazy titles. Oh, dude, so. those, I told you that one that, <laughs> that I'll never get out of my head, and I think it stopped releasing a while back, but I will never get out of my head. But the one where it's like how I followed some dude with an exposed nipple and suddenly stumbled upon the Zenithian sword to become oh. the hero of the story. Gosh, it's the much. most ridiculous. Like, but it's amazing. It's a great. Oh. It's you know, a, I am glad that's coming back, though, is the, uh, I'm, uh, was reincarnated, the slime is coming yes. back. I don't know season. what they're going to do, though. They, do you, they're yeah, doing the second novels, season. right? Yeah, they're, well, it's novelized, so they're going to follow the novel, but they're, the, the, the manga hasn't gotten there yet, so they don't have depictions of a lot of the characters yet. Like, yeah, the, I don't remember where you guys left off. On the ending, um, what was like the last thing that happened? Because it's been out a while. I don't feel like yeah, they had like this. Oh, you know, have to watch it. It was like this world threat that was coming, and and honestly, it ended up was, not even being like it, nothing big because he ended up just like it was something. I don't know. Was I have it to watch the orc those. dude. This like the super uh, orc. It had to do with fire. I remember there was a lot of fire. The fires. What the fuck happened? And uh, after slime. And you said it was season one, right? That you saw. Yeah, that? season one. Then they had an OVA right after that. Yeah, see, season one. But the so OVA really time. was nothing. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because they have 24 episodes. The last episode was Black in a Mask. A dying woman summons a demon to avenge her in a part of the demon. Oh, you know what? They actually have a little bit to go. Okay, so they still oh, got wait, some more. Wait, No, they went so fast. So they finished, not including the Ovas, they finished on the kids. Where they okay. were, like, summoning the spirits for the kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, they did that. That was caught up to the manga at that point. I okay. remember. When they huh. released that episode, they were only, like, five or six chapters past that in the manga, from what I remember. I wonder then if it's just going to be filler episodes now because they announced no, the trailer like well, it was it might, out soon. But, or they might just not wait for the manga and make just do their own thing. They, well, I mean, they've done that before. The novel. They don't have to do their own thing. They're, they're basing it off a novel. They would just make their own character designs. They're following okay. a novel currently. Same Which as is, the manga. I don't know. What do you think is easier to follow uh, to make a novel from an oh, anime? Uh, or it's a hundred percent easier to go from the novel because you don't have to storyboard. Okay, yeah, that's story. true. All you got to do is make the animation. Mm -hmm. When you have to, the fillers, that's why filler is usually ass because they have to make the filler and all the animation for the filler with no <sighs> preconceived that. idea of what they're doing. I hate filler. <laughs> that's why that's... filler is makes no sense to me and it looks so shit because filler actually takes more work than regular. Yeah, animation. that's true. I mean, you you put a lot of work to just do a nonsense you make new story. Characters. You make new animations and stuff that they've never done before. You have to create new locations and stories yeah. for it. Yeah. Whereas when you do regulars, you're literally just copy pasting unless you're changing something, which you mm. really probably shouldn't do because you're just doing a live adaption base or anime adaption. Basically, you should not be really fucking with the story. Mm -hmm. But yeah, out of those, I guess I've only seen five of the eight. I thought they only had six, but there were eight of them that are coming. And, okay. Uh, Tower of Gods so good probably cream of the crop of the ones i've seen <laughs> then followed well, by god I'm, of I'm, high school then i might Dolores. have to check it out then we'll see see if i, li I like it and then, so uh, i know i showed my friend and he was all excited for it he's like, oh my gosh <laughs> the, the one character that i give a shit about i almost want to show this the one character i even give a shit about beyond all of them is the and you see him in the trailer is the little alligator dude <sighs> I have to watch it again. I don't remember if I've seen the alligator guy in there. He's only there for a second. He's probably not the most impressive, but he is the best, and if they do him correctly, he is the funniest. His name is Rack well, Wraith Razor. <laughs> well, other than anime, what, uh, what kind of other things, I mean, did we hear that were coming out? I can't remember. I think there's quite a few things here now that so I have to much. go through my we list. The, new, the High Republic, for sure. Oh yeah, so I, you know, when I first seen that trailer, I thought it was, um, I thought it was like new, like anim, not anime, but animation uh, movies and like new uh, movies. Like that was the new thing they were gonna do for the next step of Star Wars movies. And 
then it was like, oh, it's books. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I seen more, like, from IDW. They had posted, uh, yeah. like, some comic covers, designs and stuff with some of the characters. And I was they're like, oh, look, really IDW's well going to do the, some stuff. Yeah, they're really doing well in the comic industry. I don't know why they wouldn't continue, you know what I mean? Like, all of the Marvel Star Wars books are getting eight. Oh, yeah, you know those are I mean? good. The, have you been reading that Kylo Ren one? I guess a lot of people are going no, crazy I've over that one. No, it's supposed to be better because it makes his character better. Well, it, it, it explains a lot, a lot a about... Bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. But it, no, it's there's all, some cool characters, just, though. There are yeah. some pretty cool characters. No, that, and that's always it. a good thing. I, it's all right, because a lot of the Vader's books easily. were the same way. It's like, this is why Vader's not just, like, some asthmatic asshole. Like, don't get me wrong. Vader was always, like, cool and collected. But let's be honest. His list of feats are low. Yeah, until the comics come in and add more <laughs> stuff. Yeah, the comics course. and the books are where our Vader gets all of his hype. With the exception of beating Luke that one time. And I say that not... Remember, none of Anakin's feats count for Vader, because that's Anakin. This is like... Oh, my gosh. Well, so, okay. Have you been see, Have you been keeping up on that Monster Hunter movie? Uh, I haven't been keeping up on it. With, I know uh, it was Jeho- Jehovah-Bitch oh, is and Tony Jaw. Jaw. And Tony Jaw's going to be in it. I, was I like, mean, well, the, at really? least the fighting will look cool, or the anime, yeah. the, the action. Well, they, uh, the they real release... issue is going to be story and anim- and yeah. graphics, because they're going to live up to the game. And from what I've seen of the game, I mean, the game looks beautiful, plays pretty well. Oh, it's, it's got fun. a really developed fun. world, from what I see. And It I does, it this. does. It's one of the reasons I haven't played, is because there's so much stuff to do that I don't want to get sucked into um, the it's an It's another game where you have to kind of loot and farm. And, right, um, yeah, and it's a grind. It's a so, grinding so game. It's, it's a grinder. I don't really have as much time for those. Yeah, games. that's why I quit too. After a while, I couldn't do it no more. Like, it was a fun like, game. It was. It was the same for Kakarot. Like I like Kakarot, but it's a grind through that game. It is Can't not. There ones. is no racing through that game. It is a daily, daily like. All right, hop yeah. on that bitch, go through the story a little, find some side quest shit. I mean, but that's the way these games have to go nowadays. I mean, to keep the to keep the money rolling in, right? It, I mean. It, it, I mean, to keep playability, and I absolutely understand Playability, that, yeah. But at a point, and uh, we've obviously passed that point long ago where, you know, the content passes the ability to play the content, or, you know, I have more games than I could ever finish. You know what I mean? I have more comics than I could ever read, uh, even were I to devote my entire life to them. I would mm-hmm. never be able to read the, all the comics I want to read or play all the games I want to buy and play. No. And that's something people are now having to deal with the excess of abundance but i think it's also in companies like uh, like i appreciate it for some games right like getting my money's worth having a yeah. decently long campaign that's not 45 minutes you no. know what i mean 45 minute campaign would not fly anymore for you know back in 99 or whatever when you you, you paid 20 or 30 dollars for a game at most mm-hmm. Then you could get away with it. Yeah, yeah. When games went to that sixty dollar tag, that's when people are like, "Oh crap! I really gotta gotta watch." Well, they talk about <laughs> I have to spend I money see, on my games. You see all the memes where it's the picture of like, "Here's my Game Boy collection," and then here's my, you know what I mean, Nintendo collection. Here's my PlayStation collection. It gets smaller and smaller and smaller. It's like here's my mm-hmm. PS Five collection. I got two games. And it's a combination of money and. You know, the game's costing more, but also the game's being longer, taking longer to complete, being more complex, Mm -hmm. and even as you grow older, playing less games and just kind of falling into a groove or a pattern, you know, I would say is something we're all a little bit guilty of from time to time. Well, now that we're on the subject of games, um, did you know they're coming out with a Predator uh, game? It's called Hunting Grounds? I did see that. They also have that Samurai Jack game. Oh, the, oh my gosh, that Samurai Jack game looks wonderful. It's I a hack and slash new, game, yes, and I'm like, yes, slash, and yes. And you to be New Jack with his gun. It needs to be a hack and slash game. And then, so the Predator game that's coming out is, is more along the lines of that uh, Dead by Daylight uh, Evolve kind of thing yeah, where the, the you're the Predator, player. and then, yeah, there's four other play, online players you're, you're trying to fight against. And I guess your main objective is trying to get to the chopper. <laughs> get to the chopper. I mean, it's, it's a cool play um 
I think it's going to suffer from some of the similar things that Friday the yeah. 13th some have suffered from in that. Well, Friday the 13th, what happened with that one, and that sucks, is that they lost the licensing rights to that. And right. so because so, that, they couldn't do anything with right. it. Right, but Predator update will it. be the same way. If they can't yeah. keep the licensing rights, they'll have to pull the servers down. Well, we'll see. I mean, it's that one was kind of sketchy from the beginning because that one, did you know that one even got started on a Kickstarter when yeah, they first started? Yeah, it, it and did start there. They did get the licensing. I mean, it's not like they, they did. Didn't get so it. I don't know what happened why they, they lost it. They just didn't it, get but... a lifetime licensing, right? They did. Yeah, something like the yeah, same they up. didn't plan for um, that. Yeah, no, so a they... lot of people don't understand that either. Like, it was only very recently that I re re understood that, like, oh yeah, like they ran that you know they didn't get a lifetime license they only got a they rented a license basically yeah yeah and then they ran they didn't have enough money to pay for the re-up for the rent and they had to take it down which sucks for the fans that, more than yeah, the company does. honestly the company mm -hmm. is you know what i mean people loved it i heard but and oh, then the only thing the other stuff too was the glitch is the, the game like i said there was a lot of things going on the problem was is that game was going to run out of replayability yeah very quickly I mean, the Dead only one that they've seen us doing good is yeah, Dead by Daylight. Because been really good. they release DLC yes. consistently. I think yes. they have like, fuck, I don't know how they many. They have so many monsters and killers now and in killers, there. I, I was yeah. watching some guy play the other day, and he was yeah, some weird monster I've never heard. But yeah, they're just creating they, their own. They, they, they got the ones, for, and the thing, they they make their own. They and they had from the beginning, and then yeah. they license out. Other ones now. I don't know how Dead by Daylight does that if they're going to run out of licenses, but it doesn't matter because they're what they'll do is get a new license for another new monster yeah, and put exactly. that in instead. So people yeah. will be mad the old one's gone, but they'll have a new one to play with. Friday the Thirteenth was never gonna get that. It would get no. maybe like Jason costumes or changes to Jason in the gameplay or maps, and of course they make maps too for Dead by Daylight. But like. It looks fun, Dead by Daylight. Oh, I always watch it. It's absolutely. Play it. I've, I definitely wanted to. Like, every. Even my uh, little friend Vinny's like, oh, that's really cool. I've seen him play it. I want to play it now. I was like, yeah, when I get enough money to buy it and find four well, other people to play with. Well, if you get that Game Pass with Xbox yeah, Live, they have it. it on there. So they got, like, a bunch of people. And that, the other thing being is the way they get away with some of it is. Uh, you know, some of them are straight up, and then they have their they'll have side shoots, right? Mm -hmm. So let me give you an example. You have uh on the right because these are all their actual the ones that are stolen. They have uh the Demogorgon. Mm. Yes, yes, I've seen that one. Danny Johnson, Ghostface. Yes, I've seen that one. Freddy weirdly. Kruger. They have some weird ones. I'm like, why is this character? <laughs> Amanda Young and Michael Myers, <laughs> Sally Smithson, the nurse from uh, Silent Hill. Ah, uh, okay, Lisa okay. Sherwood is the hat huh. from something. Kazan Yamamoto is the, uh, you know what I mean? There yeah. are a lot of them are from different things. Some of them, I think, unless Anna the Huntress is from something. Well, I hope Predator yeah, learns they, from Dead by I Deadlight it, I hope it will. that they they will do the same thing by like coming out with like different kinds of cool look Predator. I've yes. always loved that, you know, from the Predator toy lines. They they always had cool, oh, cool fucking predators. They had predator dogs. They had, you know what I mean? There were always these different adaptions on the Predators uh, that really made a difference, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, they definitely have the ability to do it. It's if they have the marketing know-how and the in and ability in their programmers hands to get that on the fly yeah they have to make sure that marketing is good for it and i think like i said i'm worried for it because i've seen games go sour with that evolve is one of the yeah. biggest examples oh of like, my gosh this is going to be so but, great and then yeah wasn't that the first kind of game though to do something like that right though it wasn't it, was, it wasn't the very first i don't think but it was one of the very first and there were there were problems all around. They definitely play tested for everybody else. Um, there were there were a lot of differences on those kinds of things that made changes. And it's funny, like you said, now how many people do that stuff and get away with it because of what they've learned from what Evolve did. But mm -hmm. yeah, they definitely made mistakes. But just so because it, it they also. Look I'm trying to see who's doing the game here, actually. But I've no never heard idea. of the the developer before. I'm about to look it up. It's 
the developer's name? Uh, let me, it's kind of weird. I couldn't read the logo. The logo's really weird. Hold on. I gotta look up the actual name now. Hunting Grounds. Let's see who's doing it. It's, uh, oh, so, so, oh, wow. The publish, publisher, Sony Interactive. What's the actual uh, uh, And the developer is, come on, Is the developer. I don't really care for the, there we go. Let's do this. It's, oh, no, come on. I tell. I love it that this is like you never were. I'm correct. To... Stop doing this. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're called. Yeah. See that? Yeah. I can't read that. They're Ilphonic. Never heard of them. Oh, they're part of. Uh... Oh, never mind. Never mind. No, it just says they're working closely with 20th Century Fox to be published by Sony Interactive. Uh, but yeah, I've never heard of uh, Ilphonic before. What they games did have they the done Friday the 13th game. Oh no! Did they? Yes. And Sonic Boom. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I see that right now. I'm looking at Dead it right Alliance now. Dead Alliance is their other one in Ghetto Golf. They don't they, have a good They have game. like, yeah, as I said, they literally have no... Wow. The one they have is that Friday the 13th game, which... Well, you know, I hope that they got some good Sony uh, developers to well, code up Sony in there. Well, Sony got the bank. Maybe that was So the they were So they were not going to waste their money on this. They'd be uh, like, you guys are going to not fuck this one. <laughs> you guys don't fuck this game up here now. No. I you ain't going to do right. a col Colony... Uh, Colonial Marines on us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Gearbox yeah. really messed that one up, huh? Well, a lot of them that messed up. Uh, I heard, you know what's funny about that game? Somebody actually went in there and fixed the code. He said there was one little thing that was wrong, and all he had to do was, I forget what it was. It was, like, really something simple, and he just took it off, and then, boom, all the aliens were fixed, like the AI. Because that was the one thing that was really dumb in the game was that the AIs were really stupid. And, yeah, but he did this one little fix, and all the alien AIs were, yep, that fixed the whole situation. Sometimes it's just that one program thing that's <laughs> glitching and making the whole thing run stupid. Because so, it really can't I, take one yeah. line of code to ruin your whole thing. Uh, I, w I really wanted to enjoy that game, and, you know, I never actually bought it uh, because of the, best, the such the bad reviews that it got on it. Well, so and, I didn't and I, buy, yeah, buy it's the same, it. the, the one I wish I had done that for, which I'm glad in retrospect that I have it now, but I wish I'd have gotten it later when it was cheaper, was No Man's Sky. It was the same yes. way. That they just kind but of that one, they, they fixed them, they though. They fix it. They, they absolutely, it's much better. It's still, the thing the, is, even originally, if you were just looking for what it was, which was essentially a mind box, fucking sandbox. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Did its job. It was hours of flying around and looking at worlds. And yeah. Planets and little animals, and then having little animals beat you up because they're almost always fucking aggressive. <laughs> well, but yeah, I, it was. It, I, I think they can do a good job on that Predator game if they just. We'll see. Yeah, I hope they do. The trailers look good. The gameplay looks fun. You get to you get all that arsenal of the Predator. You know, of course, that's the right. most fun it's, thing. Yeah, and uh, hopefully they have some unique mechanics, which is something every game should have. You yeah, know what I mean? something a to bit. make them different. Just, yeah, just a little something, even if it's like how you do takedowns or how you you know what I mean, mm -hmm. like an, a new trap system of some sort because the Predators that or you know like give him a blow up bomb. I don't know when he <laughs> dies. Do that anyway. So, so did you hear the news then? I guess uh, Dan De Dito yeah, left, Dan uh, is, uh, left uh, DC, huh? Yeah, it's really messed up. I well, they fired him on the spot. AT and T. They said that, like immediately, you're you're reckon is you know got to get out of here. Boom, get out the office. Yep. And I was like that. Yeah, it's kind of messed up, you know. But I guess AT and T, which I never knew, owned a little bit of DC because they're part of the Time Warner. <laughs> um, they were not liking, I guess, his new approach of this. There's a lot of rumors of this thing called 5G going around. I don't know if you've heard heard about this, where they were going to do the same thing Marvel did a few years back, where they kind of like took away their their mainstay characters like uh, Iron Man and uh, Hulk and all of them and made them different. Like uh, made you know Thor female, they made uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Hulk yeah. Korean, they made uh, you know yeah, they did all yeah, that. Yeah. The, the all, um, new, all different Marvel. They did all that. So I guess there was rumors going around that DC was going to do the same thing and. They were calling it 5G, which I find so <laughs> stupid. But anyways, it was, of course, it stands for fifth generation. And um, they were going to replace, like, there was rumors of, like, Batman was going to be replaced with a black uh, man. For, and it was actually a character we've already heard of. His name's Luke Fox. Yeah. Um, there, was, there was a lot of other things that were going to get switched around. And 
they they were just not liking his ideas, I guess, and uh, they shut the whole project down and uh, fired him. That's supposedly that's what they say. I mean, uh, it's totally the thing is like I I get how it can be messed. And up. the they, sales because we're going down too as well. The sales later. have been going down. Let's be honest. And and when people say going down, they never went up that high. Except like, for when Rebirth came out. I mean, that Rebirth was the only time never they beat Marvel. It yeah, never that's... got that. It is said it, it pulled them back into com- competition yeah. from a point where they were about to fall to where Image and Valiant were. That's what mm-hmm. it did. But mm-hmm. Marvel still controls a vast majority of the comic industry, which is ridiculous. And I always laugh when DCs are just like, oh, comics. It's like, yeah, but you don't get the sales. You don't sell comics. You need to sell comics. Mm-hmm. You can have as many like good reviews as you want. If you don't sell comics, you're going to go out of business. Mm-hmm. that's just like period yeah and like you know i guess i can definitely see it if they think it's a good marketing choice yeah all, just... new, all different marvel the whole point was to shake things up because what was going on wasn't working yeah um having said that i mean they're it's totally up to them man that's their 100% yeah no, no right that is that is up to them like, no it is there but there, there's a lot of people it. in the comic community that did feel for him and they were like he's he has done a lot for us that's what a lot even he some of the comic book store guys comic, were like they felt sorry for him no, they're like that wasn't the way comic, to go big, he's a comic book pillar for sure yes and video. like so much so that like i said i recently referenced him in a song like written which is very uncommon for you know, mm-hmm. any of that kind of stuff so well hopefully he finds something new gets gets his whatever he's gonna do but i mean i'm pretty sure he get his feet back up whatever he's gonna do after this but um jim lee was just like surprised i guess he supposedly was taking like a six hour nap or something and he had woke up to the news and he's like because he's also the the public well the, the, not the head, publisher yeah. but the uh director the chief and editor and uh they, he was like, they were telling him he's gonna have to take control now of all, of all operations now, and he was like, "What, really? No, I ain't gonna do that." <laughs> yeah, no shit. Pay me some more. He's like, I, he's like, I've never done that before. The only thing I was doing was just going around doing tours, talking about comics, doing a couple of commissions, doing a couple of covers, and then he's like, yeah, "That's yeah. he's like, that's it." But now he's like, "Now nah, I gotta actually get into it." But I mean, we'll see who they're gonna get as the co now the new co publisher. I mean, I, I'm interested to see it. I. I've not been that impressed with DC for a while. Yeah, no, no, no. I even, mean, even then, like the beginning of DC was good, but after the first year of Rebirth, once mm-hmm. the newness had run off, there were only a couple of good series continuing on. The only thing I like to read from them is their dark, their Black Label stuff is yeah. really. That's, I love their Black Label stuff I so far. I like a lot of the Black Label stuff. Uh, Did you read the, the Joker the, smile one. Yeah, the Joker's stuff, but that's the thing. If it's all two or three characters, you might as well rename it the damn Joker. Like, there are other stuff, you know. You got yeah, Last no, no, there, is, Earth, there is. You've got yeah, a uh, Wonder Woman, Damned Earth. You've got or the Death. To, wasn't it called Death? Uh, Dead Earth, maybe. Dead. I have the cover over here. I don't know. I can't get it, but it's. <laughs> I was gonna do a comic review. Uh, I've been yeah, Wonder Woman's been really good. I, the second issue came out. And I haven't picked read it yet, but see, DC Black Label, uh, Batman Last Night on Earth, Superman Year One, Harleen, Joker, Killer Smile, Batman White Knight. Yep, Prevents Von Freeze, The Dark Knight Returns, The Golden Child, which is getting a lot of backlash. <gasps> really did it? I didn't it actually because it's super political. Super. Yeah, that's what I heard because uh, there so was also a co- there was actually a cover that was political for China of it that they did. Questions the death of Vic Sage, which was pretty decent. Dead Earth, it was Dead Earth. Yeah, uh, like Quinn and the Gr- Like it's like they're great. I like DC Black, and I'm glad they have it. Uh, and it what started in 2000. I just like reading them because I don't have to know too much about. They're very much singular. They're just and, their own things, and that's you know what it good. reminds me of is Marvel Max. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's why I like them because yeah, they're more mature for my reading, and yep. I like the yeah, I like some of the things they See, do talk and about. And the messed up part, they're all fucking Batman stories. Almost every yeah, single one of these ninety percent of these. That's their that's, that's their money maker. But that's how weak it is, bro. That's I why know. when they say we're doing good, it's like just because Batman is selling comics doesn't mean DC is uh, doing yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, they gotta do some Eventually more characters, like you said. Yeah. Eventually, they'll have to sell Batman, and that'll be the end of them. Mm-hmm. 
It's like what? see, like look, there's another character like I could talk about. They were doing the five G supposedly can say. Did you hear about that character from Far Sector? That comic that came out. Far yeah, it's another new Green Lantern. She's uh. Oh, I did. Yeah. Yeah, there's some some of the guys got some of the people got hyped up for it when it was first came out. Always hyped for a new Green Lantern. Yeah, which is why they introduce so many new ones all the goddamn time. You get a new Green Lantern every couple years, dude. There's a lot. To be fair, it's the same way with the Flashes. Every couple years, there's a new fucking Flash. (sighs) I mean, what did did you read the? I heard they were doing some weird stuff with uh, Flash Four. Did you finish that? Yeah, they did. They made. Wally, the, uh, the Manhattan, right? Manhattan like, and fucking Metron. Oh, and Metron? Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, he's going to be interesting because he sits on the Mobius chair, too. Yeah. Some people were like, because when that came out, the that punchline character I told you about came out. And, yeah. Oh, my God, my the, thing the, is the their whole comic continuity community. is destroyed, and recently they basically hinted that every their whole cosmology is super steps weaker than Marvel's. Because people don't want to admit it, but they're like, all right, well, they have Perpetua. Well, who's she on the level of... Perpetua is not even the top level of her own universe, or mm-hmm. her own multiverse. She was shunted into prison by a higher force, which means she is not the one above all. She is, And they've already considered, they're like, the source, the spe- presence, etc. The source and the presence never fucking show up, for one, not physically. And they, when they do show up, they're shown as roughly similar levels to Michael and Lucifer, who've been shown to be at least roughly below, etc., of the monitors and anti-monitors because of the mm. whole multiversal universal thing. It's rough. And even then, people wank Morningstar, right? Lucifer? Mm-hmm. Cool and all, but he is also not even the strongest in his own thing. Lucifer's dope, but he loses all the time to other people, other angels. Gabriel kicks his ass consistently. Mm. Um, obviously, God, they're presence god beats his ass all the time he's just it's not a fight that's the whole point of the I, find, all powerful. I find that funny that dc has this um the dual you, yeah the actual you know real religion of our real world while while oh, marvel they has all. this it, they have the they have is it the same thing with like marvel where they have 10 they say there's like 10 10 hells or i don't know there's not different like that necessarily they, they there is different hells though the one i was just reading the most recent for lucifer run is literally about him looking for a different hell for his like okay. ex-wife to live in and so he'll goes to like uh he starts with like fucking uh hades and mm-hmm. yeah and that's he moves be on one. to uh bahamut or whatever whoever runs the set the the Lord of the Egyptian dead, and then the Lord mm. of the Norse dead. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And basically, he's going around, and he's and he shows that he's stronger than all those guys, right? And all these mm-hmm. pantheons, etc. But he's still just not even the strongest in his own universe. Even Sandman can be technically considered to be at or above his level. Yeah, I, I've uh, always wanted to get into some Sandman books, um, especially the Neil Gaiman run. I've always heard as a Death is my favorite character from those. I see. She is yeah. Awesome. They made an anime I'm, of her, or not anime. I'm excited they're gonna do the show, so I have to watch the show and see see I'm what it's. Super hyped for death. Because, so, like I said, I, that I got into Sandman through manga, because they made a, oh. a death manga for the Sandman universe. Okay, I'm that's pretty cool. sure that's what it is. Huh. Well, I mean, besides other comics, I mean, did you read anything else that you were kind of excited for? Oh, did you? Oh, that's what I actually was excited to see to read. They're gonna do, and they're doing it for the Alien one too, um, but they're they're doing it in comic book form. They're doing the original screenplay of the first script, you know, of the Alien movie. So, uh, cool. yeah. So the designs of the Alien was much, much, much different. Than, you know, what they were writing in the beginning. So they're kind of yeah. The the cover looks different of what of what the uh, what were they called? The, the Prometheans. No, the Prometheans. Oh, you mean the new ones? Yeah, with they, you know, that was that big giant ship or whatever. Yeah, the Prometheus. the design in that one's way much different in the screenplay, so it looks cool. And then also they're doing now the same thing for the Predator movie. Um, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, when they first writ the first Predator movie, they actually had John Claude uh, Van Damme or whatever his name is to do it, and uh, the design of the original Predator was very different than what we get now. It's it was kind of like this insect weird looking kind of green thing um 
and I knew about yeah. the John Claude Van Damme thing, not about his. G yeah, the yeah. You go look it up. Go look up the original. You can actually go see him wearing the suit, the original suit online, um, and you can just yeah, it's it's very different. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I, I'm kind of glad they they redid their whole shit. <laughs> like sometimes yeah. it, it's better. Like one of the best examples that I think of of that, and I hate to say it, but they have uh, the samples of like Chris Farley as Shrek. Oh yes, I do remember he was supposed to be Shrek because they did do some voice. Uh, Lines, yeah. uh, lines with him Absolutely, at one point yeah. um and much as i like chris farley i like chris farley mike yeah. myers was way better shrek yeah mike myers you know think the, about the, it yeah the, the scottish accent does it mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. and farley's cool but his shrek would have been like more zany and less like his his depressed shrek would have been actually depressed you know what i mean mm -hmm. like as opposed to like get out of my swamp <laughs> yeah i exactly i mean but yeah look up those videos of the original one but they're gonna do the same thing with the predator they're, they're gonna come out with the comic book yeah, with the screen really, screenplay of that one wait for those because i'd really like to see them in comic form too but i think like i said i just gotta wait for those God, this stuff is nice, dude. yeah so um, those those are that sounds really interesting i'm excited I'm to read those excited. I will say we're probably about out of time for today. I know you probably have stuff to do. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, saved no, we're a little bit of time on travel, which is why we were able to do a four-hour yeah. episode today. Yeah, yeah. Um, for um, everyone who watched, thank you. I hope that you guys like the new format and that it looks decent. We're still working on updating everything and getting it all set. I'm hoping next time I'll have my camera in a better spot, maybe like right here. Oh, yeah. I think, too, I was going to say, I think you have the camera off on the Skype one, so I can't really actually see your no, face. No, you can't see my face. Because you have it on the other one, right? On the OBS? Yes. Uh, okay, I thought that's I, I thought. had Skype using my other camera to show you, though, but it must not be going through. That's fine. We'll, we'll figure it, it out. Sure we'll, we'll figure time. it out next time. So we're just we're testing. <laughs> next time, it's always something. But this time went pretty well, honestly, for a first test run on. Yeah, uh, not bad. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone for coming and watching Comic Combos. Thanks for Absolutely. joining me, Izzy. And you know, we we'll see whether we do a live one or this one next week, uh, depending on if we have uh, Leo with us as well. And yeah, I'm excited for it. Yeah, sounds good. Well, yeah, have a good one, everyone. Yep, have a great one.